Traffic congestion is one of the biggest bugbears of daily life, so we've been looking for ways to help you spend less time in the car. Phil Wilmington joins us from the thick of the peak hour action. Phil, what tricks can you share? Well, Andrew, for a start, you want to try and avoid spots like this, but we spent a couple of days driving around the city with one of Brisbane's most experienced cabbies, and in essence, in the end, he basically told us where to go and where not to go. They know their way round better than most. Every suburb's got its own little back street that you can take. Steve Reel is a veteran cabbie. His first challenge, the city to New Farm in Peacow. What's the secret? Ivory Street Tunnel. A lot of people don't know about the Ivory Street Tunnel. That tunnel cuts the valley out of the equation and the trip in half. You can save uh, 10 minutes. Next trip, north from the south side to Caboolture. We're on the gateway. Peak hour of an afternoon, you're always going to hit a lot of traffic through Nudgy. Steve says leave the gateway at the airport exit, use airport link tunnel to Gympie Road, then get off it and rat run back to Gympie Road further north. From the north in the mornings, do the same in reverse. From as far as Caboolture, you could probably save uh, 10, closer to 15 minutes. This is the M1 south of the city. Peak hour, morning or afternoon, can be a long, slow grind. But even here, there are things you can do to get to your destination sooner. For example, heading south in the afternoons. You can take Clump Road and uh, come across to Logan Road. Approaching the city from the east or bayside, Steve recommends turning off Old Cleveland Road at Creek Road, then rat running to Wynnum Road. Avoid uh, four or five sets of lights. Try to avoid roadworks wherever possible, but from the west, there's not much choice. It's pretty much a one-way street. Yeah, you end up on the western freeway. Once completed, though, Legacy Way Tunnel will be the way to go. <coughs> Down on the glitter strip, cabbies say avoid the Gold Coast Highway between Surfers and Broadbeach due to the light rail construction work. Instead, use ferry and bundle roads or Olsen Avenue. They'll work whether you're heading north or south. Wherever you're headed, it's worth planning ahead. Even those toll roads and tunnels might pay off. Less fuel, less wear and tear. And after all, time is money. For Wilmington, Nine News.